I, I need to make something perfectly clear. Perfectly clear. And I want his kids to know this, too. Marty was a pain in the ass to coach. He, he was stubborn. He was convicted. He had questions upon questions. Mo, you were his roommate, hey? Question upon question about trying to find a better way to do it. Find a better way to beat that team, to beat that opponent, that player. He, he's a man that has been told no so many times early in his career. No, you're not good enough. No, you're, you're too small. Fourth line player, back to the minors, waved out. Uh, all the things uh, that went on with him. What I respect most about him, and he leaves, this is probably, I guess, the end of the game for him with his number being retired here, but he will never leave the game because it's such a great story, such a great story for all walks of life to delve into when you have a dream. Not just in hockey, but in business, in all walks of life, read what happened with him, how he went about his business, and it is just unbelievable. A chip on his shoulder down to his ankle. Uh, I mean, and that, that is, you just saw it up on the screen here. Just the game look that he had every day wanting to be better and making his teammates better. I, I just have, I, it is such an inspiration to me to have been part of his journey, and I just have so much respect for him how he did it. It is just unbelievable. I can, I can go on here forever. I know other people have to talk, but I think the most important thing, and, and I know Marty so very well, and I know he's thinking it, and the St. Louis family. Mrs. St. Louis up there, looking down on this here, and look at my boy. Look at my boy, what he's become here. It is just unbelievable what this kid has turned out to be. So total respect for him. Thank you.